Boundary allows operators to record end users' SSH sessions for the purposes of compliance, to help remediate a security breach, and to deter malicious behavior. These recordings can be stored on AWS S3 buckets or onto MinIO buckets. In this demo, we'll walk through the steps to configure and store recordings onto MinIO. So the first thing I'm going to do here is create a bucket in MinIO. MinIO actually provides a public test environment for you to play and test out the functionality. The link to the test environment is provided in the video information below. In my test environment, I'm going to create a new bucket and give it a name. Once created, I can look in my bucket and see that it's empty. Now let's add this MinIO bucket to Boundary. In my Boundary admin UI, I'm going to click on Stored Buckets. Then we'll click New Stored Bucket. We'll give it a name. We'll select Global Scope. We'll now choose MinIO as the storage type instead of AWS. Next, let's provide the URL endpoint to our MinIO instance, which we can pull from our browser tab. We'll need to change the port number to 9000, which is their default port. Next, let's provide the name of the MinIO bucket that we created earlier. The region is optional, so we can just leave that out. Next, we'll need to provide access keys and secrets to allow Boundary to connect into our MinIO bucket. So let's go create those access keys. Back on my MinIO admin UI, I'm going to click on Access Keys and then click Create Access Key. Once I click Create, I have my Access Key and Secret Key. We'll simply copy each of these into Boundary. First, we'll copy my Access Key. Then next, the Secret Key. The last part is to include the worker filters. Worker filters is a way to use tags to select the self-managed workers that you want to connect to the MinIO buckets. The worker will be the one performing the recording of each user session. For more information on how to use worker filters, refer to the link below the video. Now click Save. So we've successfully created our bucket for MinIO as you can see here. Now let's enable session recording on one of our targets and select MinIO as a storage option. On my list of targets, I'm going to select the SSH Linux target and enable session recording. We'll also select my MinIO bucket that we created earlier. Okay, now let's switch hats and act as the end user. I'm going to log on to my Boundary Desktop UI. Then let's connect an SSH onto our Linux target and run a couple of commands for the video. We'll just run a simple sudo apt update command. And then we'll end our session. We're going to navigate over to session recordings and then view the latest recording. Now let's watch our video. As you can see, everything we just did is now recorded. And to verify, let's take a look at our MinIO bucket to confirm new files have been written to the bucket. And as expected, the files are all here in our bucket. So that concludes our session recording demo with MinIO. Thanks for watching.